Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac. So we're gonna be running this side by side with your Mac so that when you boot up your Mac, you can hold down a key on your keyboard and you can select to start your Mac on Windows 10 or on your Mac operating system. All right, so you can actually select one or the other. We're not running them at the same time. You can, there is ways to do that with other applications, but we're gonna, we're gonna be setting it up so that it runs one or the other. Uh, most people would wanna run Windows 10 if there are certain applications, for example, that don't run on a Mac operating system. You can still load them on Windows and it runs very, very well. Uh, Microsoft and Apple have got the software to be able to run it very, very smoothly and it's as if you're running it on a normal PC um, for Windows. So we're gonna be running a tool called Bootcamp, uh, which comes loaded on your Mac by default. I'm running Mac OS 10.11, which is El Capitan, uh, but it'll run on earlier versions as well. Uh, and all you have to do is just search for an app called Boot Camp. Now, two things that you need. Uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna be running it from uh, a, uh, from instead of having a DVD of my Windows 10, I'm doing it from an ISO. An ISO is essentially just an image of my DVD, right? So I've got my DVD with Windows 10, and I'm creating that into like an image, sort of compressed it, into a ISO file, which is essentially the same thing, but on a on a uh, file level as opposed to on a disk. So you can download the Windows 10 ISO directly off the Microsoft website. If you don't want to convert it from a DVD to a CD, uh, DVD to an ISO, sorry, uh, or if you don't have a DVD drive on your computer. So you can just visit Microsoft.com. The easiest thing is just to go into Google and type in by Microsoft ISO and you've got one of the top hits will be the Windows 10 ISO on here. Now this is assuming that you have a legitimate copy, all right, and you just follow the prompts. You want to download, you know, Windows 10, you then confirm the, um, the, the language, etc., and then it'll give you through the prompts. You need to have obviously a valid license key as well. So that is the option if you do want to download the ISO from Microsoft and you can purchase it as well if need be. Uh, or if you've got the DVD and you've got a DVD drive in your Mac or you've got an external USB DVD drive, you can also convert it uh, seeing my, if you can see my other video as well, uh, that shows you how to convert it from a DVD to an ISO as well to use in bootcamp. So version. The other thing is to have a USB stick. So as you can see, I've got a DVD, uh, not a DVD, a USB stick um, plugged into my Mac. Uh, at least have one that's around eight gigabytes or bigger. Uh, essentially, it's going to copy a whole bunch of files onto my USB stick, um, so that it, you know, it, it, it when it, when the Mac boots and it starts loading all the operating system files, uh, it just reads from that USB stick to do all the installer. Uh, you may not need to use that USB stick if you're doing it from the DVD directly. But again, as I said, this guide is for the ISO version of uh, Windows 10. All right. So let's go ahead and open up Bootcamp. Now you just do a quick spotlight search and we're gonna look for Bootcamp, all right? Just type in boot, it should pop up automatically and you'll see their Bootcamp Assistant and we can just go ahead and open that up. You're gonna be presented with this login screen, uh, basic introduction, you know, you can do some additional help if you want to. We're gonna say continue. Now here, Bootcamp Assistant will help you perform one of the one or more of the following tasks. Now you'll see that it says here, create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. So you need a USB flash disk and a Windows 7 ISO image, the da image downloaded from Microsoft. So again, if you have an ISO like I do, I've got mine off uh, from Microsoft, right? I, I downloaded it from Microsoft but you can also convert your DVD into the ISO as well if you want to do it that way. It's, uh, it does say Windows 7, but it'll run on Windows 8, it'll run on Windows 10, which is what we're gonna be doing on this demo. By default, download the latest Windows support software. You wanna make sure you have the, the, the running the latest drivers and software, etc. And you wanna install Windows 7 or later. Okay, so three different steps. You wanna create the install disk um, to a USB stick. You wanna download the latest, latest drivers and software and you want to install Windows 7. So make sure that they're all ticked and we're going to select continue. It's now going to ask me to locate where my ISO is located. So you can click on choose and navigate to where your ISO is. So as you can see, I've put mine on my desktop, which is essentially where it's going to here. So it's just navigating directly to my desktop. 
which is the one here, which is the Windows 10 Enterprise 64-bit uh, DVD ISO, okay? Destination disk, where's it gonna copy this ISO to? It's copying it to my USB stick. Again, this step, you won't have to go through it if you are having the DVD plugged into your Mac. But nowadays, a lot of newer Macs don't have DVD slots, so we're doing it via a USB stick. Big warning, the data on this disk, on, on the USB stick, will be formatted. So if you have any data on that USB stick, uh, you're gonna lose it. So make sure that everything's empty, or if you're happy to erase it, that's good to go. So we're gonna say continue. It'll just give you a warning. That's gonna be erased, and click continue. Now it's gonna start to format that drive and copy the necessary files to the USB stick uh, for the install process. So once that's done, it's gonna ask you to add a new helper tool, put in your password, say add helper. Now it comes to the point where you have to partition your hard drive. So you wanna partition your existing Macintosh HD hard drive, yours may be called differently, um, and you wanna give your Windows a particular size, right? So 32 gig versus this, or you can extend that, right? You can make it as big as the free space that you have available. Now I'm gonna make it, uh, let's go for 100 gig. Okay, I, th I think 100 gig should be enough for what I need to do. So 100 gig is what I'm gonna set up my Windows partition as, and I'm gonna say install. So after the format is complete and the partition is ready, uh, it's gonna reboot your Mac automatically, and then it'll start to load Windows uh, from that USB stick that you had inserted. Now you're gonna be presented with the main Windows login screen, so just you know select the language and the time format that you want, and click on Next. Select your Windows 10 version. Mine says Enterprise, but yours may say something different. So just select that one and click on Next. Accept the license and terms. Now here you wanna select uh, the Bootcamp partition. Okay, so this is the partition that you just created. Uh, now, if you remember, mine was 100 gig. Uh, it's never gonna actually be 100 gig because um, of the conversion from megabytes to gigabytes. So you wanna make sure that you're selecting the one that says boot camp, okay? So go down to the boot camp one. You wanna click on format. And OK to format. So this is just going to format that partition into a partition that Windows can read so that it can install Windows. Once that's done, you can click on Next. So that install will now start. It will take a little bit of time to load and install Windows 10. So we'll check back once this is finished. Okay, so your Mac would have restarted a couple of times after that uh, long install, and you should be presented with the basic Windows 10 configuration. So we're just gonna go through the basic conf. Configure this how you want, because uh, it's really gonna be customized to whatever your likings are. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Choose how you'll connect. Uh, you can connect to Windows via a Azure AD or join a domain. We're just gonna select join a uh, domain. And then just put in some details. So your username and the password that you want to use and a password hint if you so choose to use that.
So finalizing some Windows uh, configuration things in the background, we'll let that go through. As it says, this won't take long, but it can take long. So, you should be now loaded into Windows, and hopefully if all has worked correctly, you've got presented Welcome to the Bootcamp Installer. What this is gonna do is gonna install some software in the background for Bootcamp, and also a whole bunch of Windows drivers uh, for your Mac hardware. So, let's go ahead and next. You can also manually go into your Windows Explorer or your My Computer in Windows and manually kick off that installer through your USB stick as well, or through your DVD if you chose to do it that way. So that installer shouldn't take too long, and once it's done, that the, uh, the Mac will have to be restarted again. So once you've logged in, you should now be in your Windows 10, running on your Mac successfully. You can also change the boot order of your Mac, because by default now, when you start up your Mac, it's gonna boot into Windows 10. You may wanna alternate that between Windows or Mac. So the easiest way is to go into the control panel on your Windows computer, or into System Preferences Boot Camp on your Mac side, all right? So you'll see that Windows is selected by default. You want to just select OS X and that is it. So now by default when you reboot your Mac, it will start up on your Mac side. If you want to alternate that again, you can just go back into the System Preferences uh, Boot Camp or into Control Panel Boot Camp on Windows or on the Mac to alternate between the two. Now to actually start up your Mac, you can hold down the shift key before the chime rings at the very start, and it actually will give you the option of booting up into Mac or into Windows. So that option is always there for you, and that is it. So that is the helpful guide, hopefully it was helpful, for installing Windows 10 onto your Mac, uh, and we're running El Capitan 10.11. So hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.